The highlight of the week, sponsored by Dave Frannick Auto. Looking for that first car for your son or daughter? Don't panic. See Dave Frannick. We go to the top of the first gear at High Point, and Wildcats ace Allie Fry strikes out the side, stranding a Vorty runner at first base, and we have no score. Then Carly Satter does what she does best for High Point. She leads off the bottom of the first with a single to center. High Point would load the bases for Megan O'Leary, and she shows great patience as she works an RBI walk, and High Point has an early 1-0 lead over Voorhees in this Hunter and Warren Sussex quarterfinal clash. Then with the bases still loaded, Chelsea Francavilla laces his RBI single to left on a 3-2 pitch as Cassio Hearn would score, and it's 2-0 High Point with two outs. Then Brittany McKay comes through with another clutch hit for High Point with his two-run single to left to chase home Chelsea Eckert and Megan O'Leary, and just like that, High Point has an early 4-0 lead. Okay, top of the second, and watch Carly Satter end a 1-2-3 inning with his nice running catch in short right field for the Wildcats. Then Satter leads off the third with his infield single that bounces around, but she would be left stranded and it remains 4-0 High Point. Top of the third, and Voorhees loads the bases, after an error in two walks, but Allie Fry gets out of the jam with the strikeout to protect the 4 0 lead. Big pitch right there for Fry. After a shaky first inning, Gordy settled down, watched his good running catch by second baseman Corey Furka to rob Carly Satter of her hit in the bottom of the fourth. Then watched Satter on defense as she loses her footing, but she has the wherewithal to get the runner at first to end the inning with a Gordy's runner on second base. Despite having no hits to this point, Voorhees was able to threaten by drawing walks and a couple of high point errors, but Fry was up to the task as she gets the strikeout here with a runner on second base to end the sixth inning. The Vikings with the first and only hit of the game here on this Tory Furka single to center, but Fry ends her one hit 12 strikeout shutout with the strikeout here as the Wildcats, the top seed from Sussex, top the fourth seed of Vikings to advance to the tourney semifinals where they will host North Hunterdon Saturday at a high point and a rematch of last year's championship game. Excited for us. Um, you know, that Voorhees is a really good team. It was a, it was a good game. And uh, the competition, just the level is just awesome to play this type of softball. It was a really big win. Um, we're a little nervous coming in today because prom was yesterday, but this was really important to all of us, so we came out with a lot of energy. Everyone played really well, especially when we came out in the first inning. Everyone was just getting amazing hits, and it's really nice to be ahead in the game, so you don't have to worry later on in the game about any mistakes or runs or anything. It's great. I hope we're going to make it as far as we go. That's what we're striving for is last year. Um, we all worked together as a team, and it was great that we came out in the first inning and we hammered down. Everyone knows Allie Fry is an outstanding pitcher. Today, she really went to work. She wasn't getting the calls on the corners, but she still only gave up one hit, threw a shutout, and had 12 Ks. Yeah, we're really excited for that. I know they have the same pitcher as last year and probably a lot of the same team. So we're really excited, and we can't wait. It's a little frustrating to me to see that because we were getting the calls against us, but she lets it all go, and she just goes back, and she fires back right at him, and he, she pitches a pitch that he can't not call strike. We, I, I don't know what else to say about Allie. I mean, she's just uh, she's such a hard worker. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of frustrating when you think the call should go your way. But she just forgets it, flushes it, and moves on. Fry got a big boost in the first inning when High Point scored four runs. That was huge. That really builds our confidence for the rest of the game, and I think that puts a lot of pressure on the other team. So that's really important for us to do. That was really important for a lot of reasons. Most importantly, Ten of the girls were at the junior prom last night, so I was a little, you know, we're all hoping that uh, they were relaxed and came in focused, and they were a bunch of great athletes, and they knew exactly what they had to do. It was all about teams, so they came in fired up. They did their job early, and it makes life easier for Allie, for the defense, to know that, okay, we got four runs on the board, so just relax. Wildcats got some big hits in that first inning. Chelsea Francavilla had one of them. I was just thinking, I really got to get a hit. It's just after I foul off a bunch, I always know. Usually I get on base after that, so I just kept, I needed to get a hit. Base is loaded. I just had to get it down. Uh, you know, I'm really excited because that's great to have the, the order like that working for us. Then Brittany McKay made it 2 nothing with a big two-run single for the Wildcats. I just got up to bat, and I was like, I got to come through. I got to come through, and I did, and it felt great to come through and score two runs to help us win. This high point team is the defending Hunter Warren Sussex champs and state champs, and they want to defend those titles. That's going to be another great game, just as it was last year. I feel that we are going to come in just as fired up, and I think we are going to hammer down the first inning like we just did today. High point most likely will see North Hunter in the team they beat in last year's final down in Diamond Nation. It'd be awesome as I, uh, you know, they're 
great team, and uh, our girls will be ready. So it should be a great game. I hope to get a lot of people out to support High Point. Yeah, I wasn't actually part of that last year, but we did. I'm just really excited to play them, and I want to be a huge part of the team this year, and we get that win again.